Hey everyone, this is Steven with Our Hometown, and today I have another video tutorial for you guys. Uh, today what we're going to be showing you is how to link a Google Doc to your WordPress website. It is a very nifty tool for all of your writers and uh, anyone else who uh, uses Google Docs to write and uh, wants to publish to WordPress straight to your website. It is very neat. It is not difficult, so bear with me and uh, we'll make this happen. What you're going to do first is go to our home, our hometown.com. Here's the website up here. You guys know it. And uh, in the search bar, you can just type right here. You're just going to search for this Google Docs add on publish to WordPress. You could probably get away with just publish to WordPress. And this is the page that will come up. So we're going to scroll down to step one and we are going to install the Google Doc add on. This is important because this is what's going to help communicate between Google Docs and WordPress. So I clicked on it. And there we are, right up here, click install. Now mine is already, mine is already installed. So, all right, and we are installed. So that's that with that website. And now we are going to go to Google Docs. And you are going to log in with the same credentials to your Google Docs account. And uh, we just have a brand new, fresh, blank Google Doc. And so what I'm going to do is title it. We'll title this uh, OHT Tutorial test article article there we go and uh, what I'm going to do is just we'll throw in some lorem ipsum because I'm not in the uh, article writing mode right now so we're just going to copy this is just a lorem ipsum generator uh, we're going to copy and paste Oof. and now we're going to upload an image from the computer so we will do our hometown JPEG, as well as, why don't we just keep it consistent and throw in the Facebook logo as well. All right, we're going to go up here to add-ons, our hometown add-on connect to WordPress. Now it's going to work, and then it's going to pop up on the side here. Oh, first, it's going to actually connect. This is going to establish the connection, so I'm going to just paste our website in there. Username, boom, and it has the same credentials as you get into your website. Set up WordPress link, and that is an incredibly important part because that is how you're teaching Google Drive, excuse me, Google Doc, to connect with uh, your website. So connection successful, okay. Now this is all important stuff. We're gonna go in here, this will show you all sorts of information. This is all the information for when we're writing, uh, uncategorized, what I'm going to do is actually click the first one, scroll to the very bottom, I'm gonna hold shift and click just for an example. And so now we have all sorts of categories that it is going into status. It will default to draft. We want it to go to publish. Uh, you can fill out the e-edition, you can fill out the byline. I'm gonna click on breaking news just because I think it's breaking news. So now we're going to create article. And as I'm creating that, you can see this featured image. Uh, currently, nothing's gonna pop up because we have not yet published. So you see the wheel spinning, and once it publishes, it's going to create an official, there we go, an official communication uh, byline for that. So that is the website for our posts. I'm going to hit OK. And now this will all refresh. You guys remember I posted two images. I posted the house, our hometown logo, and the Facebook thumbs up. I'm going to resize it just because it's large and unnecessary. So, featured image, there we go. And uh, now what I'm going to do is something kind of fun. I'll do photo captions. Now I can only do photo captions after I've originally published. So you publish and then you can come back and do some captions. So, caption for Facebook, let's say, like, we'll do all caps, like this, post, just for fun, that's because that's what it is. And then, uh, OHT logo house. Another exclamation point. Update article. And there we go, post updated. Now, we can go right on over here. We'll refresh. And we have some breaking news. OHT tutorial test article. We can click on that. It'll load, and I'm sorry, my website, my uh, internet is fairly poor. So, OHT, tutorial test article, and then lorem ipsum. And then, 
like this post. It has the captions. Now we're going to go back over here just to test it. Test article, we'll say test article 2.0, just so we can change it. And then we'll go in here and uh, lorem ipsum, uh, we'll just say, we'll add a line, this is a breaking news test. Boom. And we're going to go back over here again. Update article. Let it go. Post update. We'll go back over to our website, refresh it, and we will see what the new headline is. 2.0. This is a breaking news test, article 2.0, and it is posted by me, sdh at ourhometown.com. So that's the very easy way to set up the direct communication between Google Docs and your website. Uh, again, you're just going to go to our website, go to the Our Hometown Google Doc add-on, install it, add-ons, Our Hometown add-on, and then uh, we don't want to forget it but it'll just, the options will be different. So you'll just create the communication, type in all your information, type in your article, upload your photos, give it a title, and then go over here and hit publish. And then once you've published it, you can go back and do some photo captions. And uh, from there, it will be easy, easy to go. So I hope this tutorial helps. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email over at ops at ourhometown.com, and we would love to hear from you. Have a great day.